So when you first get here, you'll want to go to sign up and then you want to choose teacher and you want to go ahead and sign in with your district account. So I'm going to continue with Google. And then it says, go ahead and let's get started. So now you're logged in and I'm going to choose third grade, let's say, uh, and then continue. And you see here it says classes, students, resources. So now it's set up as a teacher class. And so you can see your class and you can enter a class name or import from Google Classroom. So I'm gonna to choose to import and connect to my Google Classroom. Select my district account. And it's gonna say, I need to access these things from your Google, is that okay? Just select allow. That's how it is able to um, connect everything for you. And then, oops, I gotta, I gotta select a class. Um, so let me try to pick one that's one of my fake accounts. I have like a hundred names on here now because of everybody creating an account. So I'm hoping I can find my name. <laughs> it is not easy. Ah. I am so sorry you gotta wait for me to do this. Maybe if I type Boudry, it'll come up. Then you think, oh, perfect. So, so there you go. I can click type Boudry. I'm gonna import my class. I don't know that I have any names here, but if you did have students in your class, it would pull them all in for you. And so now I'm gonna go into my assignments and I'm gonna assign something to my students. So maybe this is what I wanna assign to them. I click on it. Okay, and um, choose it by clicking the little check mark and notice how it selected them all. If I don't want it all though, that was for the whole class. Maybe I just want, you know, just a piece. I can also drill down and just grab that piece and then I can assign it to my students. And so it's gonna be called, this is the class it's going to. I don't have students in there. Normally it would show all your students and then the date, uh, due date is you can take that off if you don't want a specific time that it's due or date that it's due so that it doesn't show up as late. Let's see if it'll let me do that. Oh, maybe it won't let you. So you might have to put a due date on there. Um, let me just put the 27. Okay. And um, I don't have students, so it won't let me assign. If I had students, then it would have let me assign. So I'm going to choose assign save for later. And that's how you do it. So if you have any questions or if it doesn't work as smoothly for you, let me know and I'll be happy to help.